Well, thank you guys for tuning into Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer, because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe, who hears our prayers, and we answer them all in His perfect timing, because His timing is perfect, and His timing will always be perfect. Amen? Amen. And also, we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and active living Word of God, which brings the free gift of salvation to you all if you believe by faith by faith alone, and if you repent of your sins, and if you do all that, it offers you the best gift of all which you can ever receive, which is eternal life with Jesus Christ forever in His presence when you die. Amen? Amen. Well, praise God for His word. Praise God for who He is. Um, today, friends, we got a good topic. We're going to be talk talking about calculating the cost. We're going to be in Luke 14, 25 through 35. So if you have your Bibles, I encourage you to open them up, flip along to that passage of a person, and as you're flipping there, I will open us up in a brief word of prayer. So let's bow our heads and let's send our hearts on God today. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for your love that never fails, Lord. Would you speak to us now by your word? Transform our hearts, God. Let us become more like you. And let's take ourselves, God. We love you. Would you help us love you more? Amen. Amen. Praise God for his word. Praise God for who he is. You guys ready? We're going to be in Luke 14, 25 through 35. It says this. Now great crowds accompany and comforting him. And he turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For, wh for which of you desiring to build a tower does not first sit down and count the cost? whether he has enough to complete it. Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it begin to mock him. Verse 30, saying this man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going out to encounter another king in war will not sit down first and deliberate whether he is able to with 10,000 to meet him or who come meet him who comes against him with 20,000 and if not while the other is yet a great way off he sends a delegation and asks for terms of peace so therefore any one of you any one of you who does not renounce all that he has uh, that he has cannot be my disciple. We announce all that he has cannot be my disciple. Verse 34, salt is good, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? Verse 35, it is of no use either for the soil or for the manure, man, manure pile. It is thrown away. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Amen and amen. Praise God for his word. Praise God for who he is. So the crowds have been following. What does this passage mean? And what is it talking about? It says the crowds have been following Jesus out of curiosity to hear his teachings and to witness his, his, the healings. Yet, Jesus warned them in the scripture above that if they truly want wanted to follow him, they must consider the cost. Not only was it not a free ride, it would actually cost him everything, everything. It would cost him everything. He asked them to love him beyond all others, even their own family members. Amen. In wrapping up today, I would like to ask you, brothers and sisters, to ask to ask the Holy Spirit to show you your level of commitment to the Lord, your amount of love for Him, and your willingness to follow Him anywhere, 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 anywhere. Let me ask you a couple questions. Just a few brief questions. If I can flip the page. I guess I don't have... Um, I guess I don't have a um, question. I thought I could. Right. I will be praying for you 
your love for him. I'll be praying for you. Your love for him to grow stronger than any other love you have in your heart. And brothers and sisters, this is the good news of Jesus Christ. You might be like saying, well, I have a wife. God calls me to lead my, lead my wife. Lead your wife. Lead it. Lead her. Do that. But also, consider the cost for God. Love God first. With all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your minds. With all of your strength. Our first greatest cost is not, our job is not loving our family members. It's loving God who gave his life up for us on the cross and is coming back one day. This is our greatest cost. So my question for you, my simple question, my just one simple question I have for you all today, before I land the plane and send, send things home here, are you guys ready to give it all for the sake of the gospel? Are you? If Jesus came back tomorrow, would he be like, yes, you did it. Well done, good and faithful servant. Or are there parts of your life where you're like, God, I don't need you in it. God, I can do this myself. Let's really be pondering these questions. God has called us, has caused us to give everything up for him. I know it sounds scary, but it's worth it in the end. I'll give you, leave you with this. I heard a saying from someone, you can either suffer now and enjoy later, or enjoy now and suffer later. You pick. You, you pick what you want to do. Amen? Amen. Well, if you never came to God before, or you'd like to come back to God right now, in order to prodigal son, then here's your opportunity right now by saying this simple prayer of faith from the silence of your own heart. Please do repeat these words after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you, Lord. You're the only hope I have, Lord. I repent of all my sins, and I turn to you and accept you as my Savior. Amen. Well, if you just pray this prayer today for the first time with us, or we pray this prayer known as the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you in the family of God, welcome you back in the family of God. Be as scripture says, when one walks in the family of God, or one walks back, or when one walks back in, heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've also been praying for this very moment, because this is truly one of the most important decisions that one can ever make with life, or that one has already made with life, is by placing the faith in Jesus Christ alone and accepting the free gift of salvation that he offers you and that he offers me. So I want to welcome you to the family of God. If you just made this decision today for the first time with us, or we committed life to Christ today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next steps to take on this very important decision that you made today. We don't want to mock you at all. We don't want to pressure you. We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this very important decision that you made today. And also, we just want to be praying for you, truly, simply. Because we believe in the power of prayer. So we want to be praying for you as you continue along on this journey, that God would grow you more than ever in his love, and that you would consider the cost of what it takes to follow him. It takes everything. It takes denying ourselves in front of our family. It takes <laughs> loving him more than our families. This is the gospel. This is the good news. Amen? Amen. Well, can I bless you all today before I send you all on your way? Would you put your hand up to receive it? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And may you never forget the cost of what it takes to follow God. It's a big cost. But it's worth it in the end. It's worth it. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. It's worth it. Amen. Amen. Well, if you guys were encouraged by this video and you guys feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by this topic as well, would you please do me a favor? Click on that share button and share this hope with someone. Share this good news with someone. If you guys just need prayer for your life or hope, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. We'd love to pray for you. We'd love to just talk to you, answer you any questions that you have. And until next time, keep Christ number one and have a very blessed day. God bless you all. Peace.